Hey, Naked Gang Gang, it's your girl Jill here, aka Naked Battle Rap. You already know what's up. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, stop coming on this bitch, talking, trying to see what a bitch is doing, what's going on with Naked Battle Rap. Just fucking subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on. You've been looking for me. I'm always, always, always on my OnlyFans. OnlyFans.com slash no time off N O T I N E zero F F. The link is in the description below. Now, on there, I do most of my recaps, reactions, rewatches. Um, I stream the Cassie and Hitman battle as part of the subscription. I do real naked live recaps on my OnlyFans. Sometimes I do it while watching the battle, sometimes I do it after. Um, but we have a lot of fun on there. That's mostly where you're going to get your recaps from is on my OnlyFans. Once again, OnlyFans is full of freaks. So read the description before you subscribe. But if you're looking for me, I am there 24-7 every motherfucking day. Also on Thursdays at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, Standard Time, I go live for my sex and wordplay podcast. So we can either A, bring on one of your favorite battlers and we talk about battle rap, sex, relationships, life. I really love sex and wordplay. You get to know the battlers outside of battle rap. They talk about their other businesses like real name Brandon's graffiti business or KD wanting to be a screenwriter. Like all of this awesome stuff that you won't know about them otherwise. So Sex and Wordplay is live every Thursday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Favorite battlers, open discussions, lots of fun, a great time. Tune in. All of the episodes are posted so you can go back and watch them and see what type of shit we be getting into on Thursdays, okay? So let's get into this shit. URL presents Super Fight 3. Four, five. I don't know. I don't know how many more there are going to be of these things. But I will say that super fights are getting better. It still seems like random versus random for the most part. But the battles are getting better. And I'm going to thank the battlers for that. Let's get Bill Collector and Big T off the way. This battle had a lot of potential. I'm personally not mad at it. It had a lot of potential. It had a potential to be really entertaining. It had a potential to be super funny. It's just the fuck ups <sighs> killed it. It killed it. That's, yeah, I wanna redo. I would watch this battle again. Go clean up your rounds, memorize. Let's redo this thing. Cause I enjoyed what I actually did see and what was complete. Even when Bill choked in the second, uh, when he came back, I was, I thought he was about to just start like freestyling like some fucking hot fire, but he gave us a couple bars and then he ended it. And I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. So, <laughs> so Big T does these, this thing, right? I love the way he fucking raps the, what are those? What are those? What are those? Like, <laughs> it's like he doesn't give you one bar with a triple entendre. He just repeats himself and and gives you the different explanation each time. So he just breaks down the entendre in his bars, basically. What could have been one bar is now four. Now, sometimes I think that repetition shit is a slight cop-out, provides slight filler for your bars, since repeating them gives you more material. It would be interesting to see uh, what Big T came up with if he didn't do that. But then again, he wouldn't be Big T if he didn't do that. So there was no winner in that battle. I'm going to let it go. They're probably going to vault it. Y'all probably never see it. And that's okay. But I do want a redo. Clean three rounds all the way through. JC versus Nun Nun. I don't know what it is. I'm starting to develop a thing for these red-haired white boys <laughs> in Battle Rap. I don't know what it is. Y'all been looking good lately. But besides the point, this battle is fire. It definitely deserves a watch. Nun Nun tweeted he's not playing with his talent anymore. And he is not 
playing with his motherfucking talent anymore. None of that attention right now. He's getting his flowers, his just dues, he's getting names. So ever since the tournament, he's been putting on, he's doing a great job, and JC Battle is no fucking exception. I had a 2-1 for JC because of my love for JC. I think he is one of the nicest pins in the game. He has one of the best performances in the game. He's been on fire. Like, the last five times I've seen JC, he is just elevated. Like, this nigga is here right now. He is nobody to fuck with. Never has been, but right now, don't play with him right now. So, none, none, did not. He came in, did his job. JC had the haymakers. None, none had a lot of little shit, like little jabs. That he could just, uh, that he just kept stabbing JC over and over and over again with. So I think it just comes down to which material you liked more. And JC flips are typical. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard when a battler has to go against someone who's battled a million people. And then come up with new material for them, especially name flips. But talking about JC's career, uh... The, 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 him doing perks and drugs and the name flips, whatever. It's, it's a little, it's a little outdated. It's a little heard of. Just none of this material was fresh. It was good. Uh, I was feeling what he was saying, but it, it wasn't enough to make me not team JC, which is why originally I gave G, JC the 2 1. But not taking away anything from none none. He did a really good job. This battle's 2-1. Either way, y'all can decide. It is not clear. This is super debatable. We're going to let it ride like that. Matt Papa versus Geechee Scotty. I have Geechee winning this battle. Very clearly. 3-0 or 2-1. I'm going to explain why. I wanted to give Math the second. I thought his second was his best round of the battle, deservingly so. But Geechee's second was about Kiki. And this is going to be an angle on Math forever. The Kiki shit. And you cannot convince me, A, that he did it. You can also not convince me that B, that he did not. That is a, it's a very hard stigma to have on you. This is the stigma forever that math will have to com combat. And the effectiveness of it in battles is only going to be dependent on how his opponent brings it to him. But it ain't ever going away. Now, I thought in his second, he came back with some fire. And then, and then his, general, his general response to the Kiki shit, what did he say? He said, I hope that your daughter or sister, some of somebody, one of Geechee's women in his life, run into a real rapist. And it's just like, you can't say shit like that, man. You just, you can't say, you can't say that. You can't say shit like that. Uh, I don't know how many more times I gotta repeat it. You cannot say shit like that. It wasn't even a bar. That was a rebuttal. Why do you hope? Because it kind of felt like you do. Kind of hope. Uh, okay. It's ooh, That's a bad stigma to have on your math. Like I said, can't convince me he did it. Can't convince me he didn't. But uh, in my personal life, when dealing with men... I choose to deal with ones that are not accused of rape at any point in time. I'm just saying. Geechee came in and did what Geechee does. At the end of the day, he did his motherfucking job. He got on math about his personal life situations. He made us not like math even more. And I just, I just love Geechee rap, period. Period, period, fucking period. I noticed, this is the type of shit I be noticing. When niggas be battling, right? Geechee was feeling himself so much in his second. The shit he was saying. Oh, 
I didn't even, the rebuttals, come on, Geechee. He is dangerous now. He is dangerous now. I forgot what battle it was when Geechee first, was, he was on the big stage, and he did the his first big rebuttal on the big stage, and he was like, yeah, I'm trying some new shit out. And, like, ever since then, he's just getting better and better and better at rebuttaling. He's becoming a very dangerous... Shit, he was already dangerous opponent. But these rebuttals... Rebuttals take battlers to, like, a whole nother fucking level of battle rap winning statistics to me. So, he did what he was supposed to do. There was no fuck-ups on his end. On his end, Geechee... 30 to 1. If you like math, you decide what round to give him. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Last but not least, we got Dot vs. Squeako. They didn't go last, but I saved them for last. Why? Because I am absolutely loving Dot right now. His return battle with Mac Mel, he's fire. His battle with Your Honor, he's fire. And Squeako is no exception. His first round, he's heating up. He's in the caffeine setting, so he's heating up. The second round, he's finding his groove. Even, like, the crowd is getting into it. The battlers watching. His third round is absolute fucking fire. I see a lot of potential in Dot. I don't see him slowing down. A lot of battlers aren't able to come back and make like the mark that Dot is making. We all want to see Dot versus some bigger names like Squeako. Okay, but come on. He done got Squeako, Your Honor, and Magamel. All right, let's give Dot somebody. Even if they don't want to throw him a top tier, let's give him one of the new era niggas. I, I, I just want competition. I want some real competition for Dot. And I think he will put the fuck on all the way. So, <laughs> Dot versus Squeako. <laughs> Clearly, I have Dot winning. He 30 Squeako. Unfortunately, I thought Squeako actually had a really good first round that I was feeling. Even though I got dull towards the end. Which is how I think Dot took that first. But the choking and then Squeako started messing up. And personally, I've never seen Squeako battle before. So he was naming all of these battlers. And I was thinking in my head, like sometimes when people name the people they battled, you go, oh, you did that to him? I'm going to watch that. But he was naming like Swamp. Do I want to watch Swamp versus Squeako? Hell motherfucking no. Nah. So I just... <laughs> It didn't make me grow any interest in him. And it didn't matter that he wasn't really on... And it didn't help that it really he really wasn't on top of his game this battle either. So he got 30 by Dot. <laughs> After a round of talking about who he 30 <laughs> he got 30 Dot did great. I want more, 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 more of Dot. I don't want oversaturation. I don't want every two weeks. I want... Dot at his full potential, the best he can be, versus some bigger names. Okay, so, once again, if you're looking for me, you can always, every single day, find me on OnlyFans. Link in the description below. Instagram, Twitter, at Naked Battle Rap. YouTube, right here, Naked Battle Rap. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with your Battle Rap homies. All right, Naked Gang Gang, see you Thursday for Sex and Wordplay. 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you, gang, gang.